part of the line. We are glad to have you here. Welcome to the Bulls to the World, talking about all things infused and delicious. I'm so excited to be here. Uh, my name is Kate Phillips, formerly just recently married, so now Kate Averick. Um, but I'm very excited to be on this panel today with a couple of really great, um, talented connoisseurs of cannabis who make some delicious confections. Um, so if you wouldn't mind just quickly going into a little brief introduction about yourselves, I'd love for you to introduce yourselves to the audience uh, before we get started. So if you wouldn't mind starting with Lucas. Hi, I'm Lucas Thayer with Aquanet Flowers, and uh, I've got a uh, Tier 2 cultivation license application uh, attempt right now. I'm working on uh, the municipal process, and uh, here this is Rachel. Hi, I'm Rachel from HBR Confections. Um, we specialize in candy and different kinds of chocolate, and I've been in the cannabis industry since 2017. And this is Hannah with Lime. Hi. Can I have a whiskey? Hi, Hannah. <laughs> Also from HBO Confections. Thank, Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Thank you so much, guys. Uh, if you guys don't know Apple Guy, he, he's literally the guy who passes out apples at the Freedom Rally. So hopefully next year when we have it in person, we'll be able to see you there. Thank you very much for joining us, guys. Kristen. Hi. <laughs> I am Kristen Countess. I own Shinies. I'm also the social social media manager for uh, Save Brooke's Life, trying to find Brooke a kidney. I am a Massachusetts medical patient. I won the Harvest Cup for Savory in 2018, and I make whole plant infusions. That's awesome. What did you win for the um, the Harvest Cup? What was your confection? Sweet chili lime cheeselets. Oh, that was delicious. I judged the sweet edibles, so I didn't get a chance to try those, but they sound yummy. Thanks for joining us, Kristen. No problem. Thanks for having me. <laughs> Last and certainly not least, Jenny. Oh, goodness. Uh, hi. Um, I run and uh, co-founded a company called Turf Life. We focus on aromatherapy and herbology blends with uh, cannabinoids. Um, we basically specialize in beverages, uh, vegan products, gluten-free, and personalized infusions for patients with unique needs. Um, I've worked in dispensaries and been a caregiver and patient now since at least 2008. Um, okay. I've been yeah. doing this my whole life, more or less. Um, and that's about it, I guess. <laughs> Thank you for being here. Um, Jenny was actually one of the first people that I worked with in the industry back in like 2015. Um, so, yeah. very great. Oh, we'll be it's crazy. Today. <laughs> We've all come so far. It's so wonderful. <laughs> oh. You know, uh, we definitely have a variety of experiences on this panel from both the legal side of the market and the unregulated, you know, more legacy side of the market. Um, I would really love to hear from all of you, you know, what are some things that you're seeing in the market right now um, that you're really looking to change, you know, through your own personal mission as business owners and infused artists? Um, is there any sort of trends that you're hoping will go away sooner than later? Um, personally, for me, I know that's the distillate edibles. You know, I'm I'm good with everything being distillate, um, but I'd love to hear from you guys. You know, what's kind of grinding your ears, and you know what what you're hoping to change. Excessive packaging would be the first thing I think about. We try to do everything as ecologically and mindfully as we can, and um, some of those requirements make that really difficult. Where where we are in packaging and. Um, safety regulations and i also agree with distillates um it definitely has an effect but that's not necessarily the holistic effect that people are looking for um, and there's a lot of ways to direct that effect depending on the products you consume and how you consume them um, it's a really wonderful science to be part of right now and for the last 10 years we're learning a lot every day so quickly and it's it's a lot of fun to be part of yeah, that's a great point. Um, for all those who don't know, there is a restriction within the regulations for um, legally available products here in Massachusetts that they need to be both certified as well as tamper proof. And a lot of the restrictions and um, the different types of packaging that um, have those certifications unfortunately are made out of materials that are not really compostable, ecologically friendly, or um, you know, are biodegradable or even recyclable in most cases. Um, so great points there. Um, and again, if you haven't had a chance to try Jenny's stuff yet, you better. <laughs> You're too um, sweet. Thank you. Really great, um, you know, full, full, full extract infusions that are just not only tasty, but complement cannabis. So 
I think that's a fairly unique thing. <laughs> It's supposed to be a whole experience for people when they do something like this, you know? Kristen? Rachel? Hey, Kelsey, I think you're on mute. Can you hear me? Yep. Yay. Um, I'm a lot of the same veins as Jenny with packaging. I prefer whole plant over distillate. That's just my preference, or at least really, really clear labeling as to what is in it. Just having something that says THC isn't enough. Like I need to know if it's whole plant or full spectrum or if it's distillate based, just for my own personal preference, because I metabolize differently and so does everybody else. Yeah, great point. Going to speak to labeling too. Um, we don't really have a lot of standardization when it comes to different terms in cannabis and labeling. So it can be really confusing for the customer depending on um, you know, what the facility is actually adhering to or what they're choosing to put on the label, whether it's cannabis extract, cannabis oil, or actually going further into saying, you know, it was an EHO or um, you know, a specific hydrocarbon extracted versus a CO2. Excellent points, Kristen. Other than that, I got nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Packaging is so hard to open with my hands, too. I don't know if anyone else struggles. Uh, but, like, the dude tubes, especially with, like, the, um, with the, like, you have to push it in and then, like, press a little button on the side. Um, you know, this can be really cumbersome to patients. Oh, absolutely. We hear that a lot of the times with packaging and the tops that have to be childproof. And pharmacy, uh, uh, if you went to a pharmacy, you have the option of choosing your tops. And that should be something that should be considered at some point as well. But hopefully we'll get there. <laughs> Keep doing the right thing and moving forward. Something that, uh, that's really important for me in edibles is uh, accurate dosaging. Having, uh, having each portion within an edible be the accurate dose rather than if you have like let's say a 100 milligram package and 10 uh, doses within the package each of those really should be 10 milligrams each rather than overloaded on one portion of the package and then <sighs> overloaded on the other portion it's super important to know exactly that each piece is the right amount and test your shit <laughs> you want to ask that Hannah? no that pretty much covered it if you have to have testing or none of this works Awesome. Thank you so much, guys. I think it's, you know, it's something that we kind of take for granted coming from, you know, this age of where we do have a lot of pharmaceutical standards for all of our other products. And this is a bit of a microcosm, you know, this is an industry that's still being developed and standards are really coming forth. From yeah, it's up on the screen. The Zoom group chat is on the screen. Yeah. Everybody can He's showing on the screen on a face. Well, you know, with all of that in vain, I'd love to hear from you too. You know, um, on the flip side, are there any innovations within the cannabis realm that you guys are really looking forward to, whether it's nano emulsifications or it's maybe more dry solutions that people are coming with powdered mixes in cannabis? Um, is there any new products or technology within the edibles that you guys are really looking forward to that's coming up? More testing, more understanding of how somebody processes different controls of those things. There's some debate with people right now about nano emulsification and the safety of making particles in deliveries in that method and how it may affect us long term and there's nothing conclusive on it yet because it's only becoming something that uh, is <laughs> happening more frequently um, there's also emulsifiers and stabilizers that are questionable in the quantities that could have been used in the past um, so there really needs to be more research is what I always question because even if you have a consistent milligram dosage of THC, your input isn't always going to consistently have a certain response to that. There's such a many, many metabolic factors that come into play and other things and it would be really, I think that's the most 
thing that I'm excited to see as we go forward is the research and how we actually metabolize and what does. Um, I, I, I'm excited about the science of the future. Uh, it, it, it's going to be interesting and it's great to be part of for sure. <laughs> I know if there's one thing about working in cannabis, it just for the one thing that you do know, you realize that there's 10 things that you want to know more about it. Mm -hmm. uh, and specifically with the nano emulsifications too, you know, ensuring that we're not just having this lipid layer that's sitting um, above a mixture, you know, that uh. you know, things that are degrading over time or theoretically, you know, that 10 milligrams that you put in two weeks ago may not actually be what's bioavailable or actively available to the person when they do consume the product. So. Definitely. Oh, and some of the complex sugars are terrible for your system long term. So, I mean, those two people don't really consider all the time as well. They read something on the internet and think it's true. Um, it's like trying to fly a plane after watching YouTube. It just doesn't really work that way. Like, I mean, good attempt, but it's a learning by trial, like any sort of science. And, you know, that's one thing that people have to take from it. Just because you're a wonderful baker doesn't mean you always understand the science of the outcome of the extracting decarb and putting it all together for someone to consume is <laughs> Kristen or Lucas at the close yeah. of the So what we're looking for is uh, I know the packaging we want it to be greener and I agree with that. We also need packaging that makes the animals more shelf stable. We're looking for these um, things that, that uh, are more airtight, still uh, compact and uh, and cheap to produce, but but produce, provide some sort of stability for our, we work really hard to make the edibles. We want those edibles to stay good for as long as humans. So so uh, flour is a really great innovation, but we're looking for more new ways to keep edibles nice and just keep them from going. Yeah, excellent point. It doesn't matter if you make a quality product if the preservation of it doesn't last until the person gets to consume it. Yeah. Um, it's so important to make sure that you're having things that are not only humidity controlled, but temperature controlled. I think we've all at one point had a package of gummies that we left in our car in the summer. Uh -huh. it's, uh, it's <laughs> bad quick. So um, definitely appreciate you know, your time and attention to that. Kristen, any closing thoughts? I'm... Um... I've been trying to learn a lot about the things that Jenny was touching on with the you know, nano emulsification because I have a lot of questions regarding how that works and the bioavailability and how the processes work for everybody because everybody absorbs things differently and it just seems like it's so rapid that I have I've actually wanted to touch base with Jenny a lot and ask her some <laughs> questions which I'll have to ask her because that's yeah that's a whole new a wealth of resources but yeah <laughs> <laughs> oh great well it looks like we are coming up on our time i want to thank our panelists for coming on today and speaking a little bit on uh edibles in the state of massachusetts <laughs> thank you so much for your time i look forward to seeing you guys again next year hopefully in person and thanks for yeah. <laughs> thank you kate thank you for having us i want to rem remind people to uh to kick stuff down i really appreciated the uh, the memorial that we had earlier for elmo and uh, just edible producers especially we have so much ability to give away free stuff because I mean, Absolutely. The, the input material is so cheap and readily affor affordable for people to make it so give away edibles as often as you possibly can Thoughts. Luke, Elmo was a great guy, you know, left absolutely a legacy in the cannabis industry and the whole notion of kickdowns, taking care of others is really what this community is about at the end of the day. So yeah. thank you. Well put. <laughs>
Welcome back to Worcester. Uh, here we are at Summit Lounge. Um, I am heartfelt pleased to have this gentleman next to me. Uh, Tom Rand is the, the founder of Patriots Helping Vets. Um, they're an organization that works to get our vets who need medicine, can't afford it at a dispensary. And, and, and our goal there is to get everybody to grow. self -reliant. Uh Tom's been doing this out of his own house for 10 years. Um, we, we kind of stepped a little bit out of our comfort zone back in November, uh, and then it's been a hell of a ride since. Right. Uh, <laughs> a lot more requests, a lot more veterans reaching out, which is a good thing. I mean, there's a lot of veterans out there that they don't have the funds to start a new grow. They don't know where to start. And if they reach out to us and we get to, you know, give you a light, some seeds, some nutrients, get you growing, become self-reliant. It's a therapeutic aspect of just growing the plant, never mind the harvest, but then you can get into your harvest. You'll be having your own meds, learn how to process them. You can make your own meds. I mean, it's endless. It doesn't cost, it costs you a handshake to get anything from us. Uh, we're fortunate that a lot of people would have an old light, they buy a new light, they donate it to us, the old light. We give it to another veteran and get it, you know, like so, you. Yeah, so so what we try and do is, you know, we, the way we used to do it was, Tom would see somebody post on Facebook about this great new light that they got, and the first email that they'd get from him was, what are you doing with the old one? Uh, <laughs> So that's what we do. I mean, we, we take anything that we can get. Uh, you know, we, we take tents and, and lights and nutrients and so on, um, and we give them to guys. And the, the part that dumbfounds people is we don't charge our bets anything. No, um, totally free to the recipient. We, we, we get donations in from all over. Um, some of our guys that they just cannot afford to grow their own because they're in public housing or the housing um in those cases um we provide the medicine itself um we hey <laughs> okay. if a brother needs help or a sister needs help if we can help we'll help whether that's be flour fico edibles honey whatever whatever it is uh, if they need help to get growing, we'll help them with that. What, what got you? What started this? Some older guys taught me about the the cannabis um, from the Vietnam era. That um, how it, it changed them and got them off a lot of pharmaceuticals. And at the time, I was taking quite a few pills a day, and I had a calendar that was filled with dates on them when my prescriptions were filled. I was handcuffed. It's pharmaceutical handcuffs. That's what it was. Yeah, yeah, so, you know, four years ago, I was on 12 scripts, and I'm now on one. Right. Um, so, I'm on zero scripts. I don't use a cane, and I sleep like a baby at night. So, yeah. um, cannabis and um, other things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And, well, you know, some of, so, some of the guys are a little uh, more adventurous than others. others right. Um, that's all right. Whatever their comfort zone is. So, unlike mine. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have a cover, so you just not you, anymore. Not anymore. Not anymore. Um, it's too much. Um, there's so many. And the one thing about this is, when I used to go to meetings and conventions and bother the hell out of people for stuff, now it's like they reach out to us to offer the. You know, they have an old light, or they have some nutrients, or they made too many edibles, or they got some fico, or whatever. And they know that we'll give it out to veterans for free, and. Um, it's nice that uh, there's a lot of love in the community. We get uh, a lot of just out of the woodwork phone calls or email that they want to help out. And that's where I mean, we're always looking for people because the more vets, of course, you need the more donors. So it's like an evolution that we're always chasing the tail. But now, what have, what have we given away this year for seeds, plants? I, I bet you it's probably close to 12,000 seeds. Um, not this many clones. We'd be lucky if we did 300 clones this summer. Okay. This year, usually we're between five and seven hundred clones and clones in the spring to give out for the you know summer growth. Um, flower, 
know, three, four, five pounds, right? Yeah, but I, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know, to, what do we do? He goes just, anywhere between a hundred and two hundred a month. Yeah, so, um, I mean, there's a lot of great guys that just, I mean, they're going through some shit. That's all I can say. I mean, everyone doesn't live the perfect life. Like I have a great family life. I have a, lucky to have a nice home. I live on Cape Cod. I can't bitch about anything. I fish, I clam, I go to the beach with friends like you. No, I can't bitch about anything. But there's a lot of guys that are, they live by themselves and they're in a one bedroom apartment or a small house. And you know, those are the guys that if they reach out, we're going to help them and, you know, get shine some light on their dark situation. And it's amazing how the fucking, the call, just the way people reach out and help each other, it, the friendships that have built, the brotherhood is so strong among the cannabis community. It's, I mean, it's overwhelming sometimes. The other day I was running low on envelopes. So I made a stupid post to my group about I needed some shipping envelopes so I can send out seed packs and vet packs and shit within the next day I got 500 and then the next day I got another, I think it was 600 and then yesterday I got another 500 in the mail. So I mean the, the the love and the I don't know the respect. I, I guess we have some good respect in the community that people understand what we do. Yeah, I, you know I I think we we establish that we, that we we don't we don't charge it. You know that's that's our that's where we differ. Right. Everyone says how can you do that? <laughs> how do you do it? You, know, you you guys take no money in. You you get everything away for free. How do you do it? It's the support of the guys that like. Like myself, you know, I, I I can grow twelve plants at my house. I only need four, five, six worth for the whole year for for me and my family. And, and the way the laws are in Massachusetts, I can give that in chunks yeah. to guys that need it that That's can't right. grow. That's right. and, and, and your donation is getting bigger. Every <laughs> yeah, yeah, you know. You know? When, when, when I started out two years ago, we were three feet, and this year I'm over my gutters. Um, really, if you're a vet and, and, and you happen to be here and you're, you're wondering, does, is there a chance that we can help, give us a call. Put, find us on Facebook, Patriots Helping Vets. We, we, we really do. We reach out. Um, we've got guides all over the state. And... They are generous to a fault. <laughs> very generous and uh, very supportive. And, and, and if, if people are wondering, what do we need? We, we always need everything. Yeah. Um, you know, we, Anyone that wants to help out, we can help out. Because that's all it is, is people helping us to help the veterans. I mean, we're like the the middleman that just connects the two. A lot yeah. of people with great hearts, they have stuff, they don't know where to give it, or who to give it to. We can put it in the guys that have provided the blanket of freedom we all sleep under. Yeah, it, what better way? For Christ's sakes, Matt. I, it, 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 my I, I know, and, and we, 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 we got growing, and here we are four years later, and... Look at you, growing uh, some trees. I'm growing trees. Uh, you give back, you give out a lot of your own butt to yeah, a lot of guys, we, and that we, makes you feel better. And, and you know, it, we, the, the the change in life that we can make is amazing. Um, and who the hell doesn't like to get a, a free joint? <laughs> <bank of visa? laughs> I mean, seriously. Yeah, yeah, yeah back, back Harvest Cup last year, the the cops thought yeah. we were crazy because we thought we were dealing. We we they thought we were dealing because everybody who walked away from our table had a joint in their hand, uh, and, and tax oh. seeds, and that's that's where we're at. Um, thank you for the work that you do. Thank you for coming up with your idea of just connecting guys with what they need. Well, there's and, a lot of people out there, Max, that has old equipment just sitting there collecting dust. Yep. They're never going to use it. They're never going to sell it. It's going to end up getting thrown out. Instead, they reach out. They give it to us. We give it to some guy that can't afford one. And he, he's on his way back, man. Yeah, because a lot, they, of, the know, time. a lot of times you get guys that they can afford the electric bill. Right. They, they can afford to, to do it, but they can't afford that initial cost. That, that initial cost and you know, for for a, a grow at the house is, you know what, 600 bucks, 500 bucks. Yeah. 
Um, we're always looking for donations, but we're also always looking for guys to help. Um, we were on Facebook and um, Instagram. Instagram. Yep. I'm not the most technologically guy there is. No, we've all Instagram. realized that that uh, we're 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 behind the times when it comes to technology. Yeah. Um, we have younger guys that that's what they do. That's what they take care of. Um, thank you for taking the time. Thank you for coming up. Um, you. I I really do. Reach out to us. Thank you to MassCan for this time. For this Thank time. you for the work in this community that you do. And it, I, I can't wait to see where we are five years from now. Um, It'll be a ride. The, it, it's it's going to be fun. Uh, again, thank you to MassCan. And now we're going to send it back to Jen and Andrew in Boston. Here we are again. Evening, Boston. How you doing? Good evening, Boston. <laughs> it is, again, still beautiful out. I hope everybody's been enjoying the show. It's we, a spectacular night. We are in the last hour. This is it. Final hour, the final chapter. <laughs> this, this is like the 420 countdown, but we're counting down to... To good night. <laughs> <laughs> counting down to good night. Counting down to moving on and, and getting on to the on with business. Mm -hmm. Speaking of that, I'm sure they're gonna do uh, the giveaways soon. Oh yeah, the giveaways. So if you're interested in winning any of the awesome prizes that have been talked about all day, get ready for the giveaways. Uh, but uh, let's talk about some some real stuff. Yes. Some real stuff. <laughs> what real <laughs> stuff would you like to discuss? I got some stuff here. We. Uh, so let's talk about sports. If you look in the background, you can probably see that the Red Sox are playing tonight. You can see the Sitco sign. Do you think that marijuana is a performance-enhancing drug? No. You know some sports organizations do? What? You, yeah, <laughs> like, look, these guys go out and they get their ass kicked in football. I don't think it enhances your sports ability. That, right? <laughs> like, hmm. <laughs> I mean, it might repair some thing that you tore, or if you hurt your knee, it might help with the pain. What about fatigue though? Like some sports like really fatigue. So if you're taking something that doesn't allow you to get like really amped run down. Yeah. It's not like weed's ever going to get you amped up. No. You know, some of it might. Some of it might get you a little going, but. Not enough for sports. But why, <laughs> like that's the topic. Like why is it even in the conversation? Yeah, that is wild. Just let the players medicate the way they need to medicate. I would think the more natural route for your players, you'd want them in the best shape. Why not let them have a joint or an edible that would help them? Totally. Yeah, like so many of them are getting caught for like weed and this and whatever. It's crazy. And honestly, it is, it's great for pain management. Um, tons of sports players have sports injuries, TBIs, arthritis, anything that all of this this plant actually helps. So to keep it from them, that's, that's rotten. It is rotten. <laughs> well, let's talk about this because this is like, to me, the other end of the spectrum and being a parent. Mm -hmm. When do you introduce weed to your kids or like my when... kids can educate adults yes on the matter that's awesome yes we are very open and honest in my household but they're in in, in the correct way Edu they definitely can educate you though they'll let you know it's cannabis it's a medicine it's not for children yeah and you know they'll let you know it saves lives that's awesome yeah. my my kids have helped me grow yep like literally like watering the plants and like taking care of them and uh, weed uh, is a medicine in our house, just like yours. So our kids always ask us, Mommy and Daddy, are these adult cookies or are these kid cookies? And we've educated them to do, know. They ask about everything that's homemade. Yeah. My son actually will use, um, Adam Souza owns Urban Acres, yep. and we use his CBD salve. All my, so my son's one-handed, and he has a prosthetic, and when you use it, you bend your wrist like this, and he already has early signs of arthritis at nine years old. So we've uh. been using CBD ointment because you cannot it's almost impossible to get a child's card for anything in this right, which we right. only want for the salves right we don't want for the consumption if we just wanted it for the external but it's it's hard <laughs> it's totally hard still some prohibition stuff to work on here <laughs> yeah definitely my daughter gets like really bad chap lips 
and we have a CBD balm that we put on her, and yep. it's gone by like morning. Same time. with April. They, she gets she like chews and sucks the bottom of her lip, and I'll put the CBD yep. stuff it on it. All red. Takes it away over the night. It's like, oh, thank you for the miracle plant. Yeah, <laughs> like, definitely. CBD and hemp still come in. Cool. So, for so children. parents for cannabis. Yes. All right. Parents for you know pot. that's yeah. you know that's what you gotta you gotta keep. As long as you educate. Yeah. Educate them young. Yeah. Kids are like that. Mm-hmm. That's how we break the cycle of stigma too, so we're not like oh, hide the drugs. Like I'd rather not act like that around my child. <laughs> but what better way to like, you know, as a parent too, to relieve yourself from the stress of kids? Yes. Like like mommy's little joint. Mommy needs a joint. Mommy yes. needs a joint. So that it should um, totally be just as acceptable as mommy needs wine. Wine. Yeah. Totally. Like it's I'd rather smoke a joint than get drunk and not be able to drive. I support it. Smoke a joint. I support it. Uh, my wife and I have stopped consuming large joints, and we've gone to like bongs, mm -hmm. water filtration. And she stole my bong this weekend to go off to work. I love it. <laughs> I couldn't believe I it. I love water pipes. It just helps smoking. It cools it down, so it doesn't burn so much when it hits the back of your throat. Oh, it's perfect. The, the best way to ingest, of course. Mm -hmm. Um, I have, put ice. You ever put slushy in your bong? That sounds amazing. No. Oh my god! I put back when we had slush puppies. Slushy. I used to always put it in my bong and use it. It was fantastic. Highly suggested. Well, you go to Cumbies and buy like something this big for ninety nine cents. <laughs> that's like raspberry flavored. Yep. It's I'm gonna delicious. have to try that. So good. That's a uh, trick tip to all you stoners out there. <laughs> put slush puppy or whatever the slush is today in your bong. It's what about what about milk and Captain Crunch in your bong? Then could you eat it? I don't know. That would kind of be gross, right? Resonate the cereal. Yeah. <laughs> Whatever. I've watched Weed Bogs do it, so. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> we, we I've bugs. seen people do some crazy stuff on there, absolutely. Oh, yeah. But he, he comes up with the wildest things to smoke out of and do. Pretty sure he did a cereal bowl. <laughs> he smoked out of a chicken. I like, think a, like lob a, a lobster or a crab, too. Yeah, a lobster. Wild. He's out of his mind. <laughs> Uh, I love them. It's great. Until so we we got seven ten. All right. All you oil heads. Yep. So if you're uh, <laughs> if you're a seven ten oil head out there, one of our sponsors actually claims that when you use their nutrients, you actually get a better yield, therefore oh. producing more high end concentrates. So Advanced Nutrients is one of our sponsors at uh, the Boston Freedom Rally virtual. And um, what's your preferred way of extractions preferred way of extractions yes. um i like bubble hash i like the old school way of just you know wa but washing it yep and then taking all the trichome uh, heads hash, so rare to find now too it's but it's good when you find it oh yeah <laughs> bubble yeah. hash is great it's always like a tradition like when i do a, like a big harvest i'll save it mm -hmm. and then i'll do another one i'll save it and then when i got too much to bother moving i'll take it and i'll make bubble hash with it so it's like a big jungle juice. It's nice though. I love it. Yeah. <laughs> jungle juice bubble hash. <laughs> yeah, because that there's so many so <laughs> there's so many strains in there that you just don't know what yeah. you're smoking at some point. I call it mixed spirits. We just mix it all in there together. You never know. Mixed spirits, jungle juice, you can call it whatever you want, you know? Flavor saver. <laughs> Flavor saver. Thought those were mustaches. Yeah. No. <laughs> what do you think is like the craziest strain name that you've ever come across? Cat piss. Oh, I was gonna say the same thing. <laughs> like, come on, yeah. who wants to smoke cat piss? <laughs> like, oh, I like, can't get it out of my head that it's like they named it because somebody pissed on it. They lay oh, their yeah. cat piss on it. <laughs> like, how'd they get that name? And people take it to like the maximum too. You I know, don't like name Agent Orange either. Grandma's foot cheese. <laughs> You know, foot cheese. people talk about weird <laughs> stuff when they're talking about their their weed. You know, you ever met like a super connoisseur, <laughs> and they'll pick up your weed and they're like, oh. Kind of like a sommelier with some wine, and they'll yeah. be like, oh, <laughs> I smell the essence of cat's piss. This is a very good cat's piss here. Uh, Could this, have uh, used a little more curing. Like. Yes, no, no, a uh, small amount of foot cheese. I've met quite mm. a few cannabis connoisseurs. This <laughs> is very, very indulgent. Yes, yes, you will get it's very high. It's hard, though. Some people, I swear, like... If you're around enough, you can like, even weigh it with your hands after a while. You just get so used to it. Oh, yeah. It's it's crazy. I used to think it was so wild to be like, oh, my God, I have a joint in my hand. Now I'm just like, here, you want some? You want it? You want it? Here, take it from me. <laughs> Try it. You'll enjoy it. That's the way it should be, mm -hmm. you know? That whole overgrow and share, that community of just, like, giving it away. Oh, absolutely. Is I what agree. it's about. 
Throw your seeds out the window. Plant the world. We <laughs> took our 100 foot joint and we broke it down into little sections and gave them to tons of people. Yeah. It was Everyone's cool. like, you can't smoke that. And we're like, we never wanted to smoke it. Yeah. We always wanted to just give it away. It holds it as a souvenir. It's cool. I kept mine forever because it's like, how. Everybody. It's part of history now. It's in the Guinness Book of World Records. Just keep it. <laughs> like, that's crazy. Just one minute until 7 So Ooh, we got one minute, one minute countdown. countdown. What? Oh, man. Uh, can we, like, make a dab rig? Like instantaneously, you got a lighter. We got a coke bottle. Let's get some. Uh, let's get some extract. Who's got extract? Do we have extract? Director, director. Okay. I know we need a dab rig. Light it up. Dab rig. Um, at some point. I failed. At, at some point, it gets it a little wild, you know, like yeah. the extract thing. Like I see dudes taking big hits of like oil like this. I've watched people do extractions, and some of the ways I'm just like, oh my god, we're all gonna blow up. Oh, <laughs> like, oh god, what oh, are we doing here? This doesn't seem flame. right. We're smoking that. I'm like, <laughs> yeah. How do we know that purged yeah. correctly? That's why I like yep. it squished right out of the nug. Squish. Fresh honey nectar right out of there. Yummy, yummy, yummy. <laughs> well, let's take some of that nectar, and we're gonna send it out to Worcester, the baby boy and the crew out there in Worcester. Enjoy it. Do a nice Here goes dab 7, for us. Big old dabber. Right up to baby boy. Can of creations. Can of dream creations. Not hot enough yet. We'll do a cold start there. Got to put the carb cap on, go figure, right? Not a big dabber, but. That's yummy. That's tasty. It's a little bit of banshee. Um, great concentrate, great concentrate. <clears throat> uh, so again, thank you for watching today's show from Mass Canada, Boston Freedom Rally, virtually. Um, <clears throat> thank you to everybody over at H HQ. Sorry, <clears throat> I'm not a dabber. <clears throat> um, we have one more giveaway tonight. I'm giving away a Can of Dream Creations T-shirt. If you go down on the list below, check out the site. You'll see the link below. Fill in your information. Put your shirt size next to it. The winner will get their shirt size of choice. We look forward to seeing this. Um, and thank you for the opportunity to MassCan for letting me sponsor such an event. And for being able to get on this and uh, educate others. And be able to help patients find the caregivers that are needed to, uh, and custom tailored to their needs. Um, please check out our website that's soon to be up and running. Uh, for all kinds of um, local crafts such as hand carved pipes, um, Chinese by Countess. You can see a bunch of those out there. We hope to get some glass uh, from many other vendors. We got flour from everywhere coming in. Thank you guys. CBD, THC, keep me highly medicated. Again, we just dabbed out on some Banji from my um, my caregiver, Maguru, who was on here earlier. Um, very good diamonds, very good diamonds. Uh, I want to say thanks to Max because without this, uh, without his work to help us do this hosting today, you know, everybody got educated. Canada Dream Creations, thanks everybody here from Mass Can, from the Summit Lounge, from the HQ in Boston, for the supporters that are watching right now. We love you all. Uh, we want to stay medicated. Most of all, stay hydrated. Educate your doctors. Um, if you're looking for apparel, contact Canada Dream Creations. We're soon to have some face masks coming uh, to be released soon for adults and youth. Youth will not have the name on it, but we'll just have the logo. Um, we have a whole lot. Like I said, things are moving fast. Uh, thank you to Alchemy League for their giveaways. So I hope whoever won those, you guys got some nice 420 gear coming in. I work with them as, uh, as a caregiver. They're my caregivers as well. Um, they're working on that, working on the dispensary, and they're working. Um, thank you to all the winners for the uh, mask can merch. We look forward to the future of the rest of this event. We got two minutes left here, and then you guys got a whole another 45 minutes of closing. I hope to watch the rest of the show myself. I haven't caught up on it yet. Uh, 
thank you to Warren back there. Uh, for, but for all those mask in, for all the members, join membership. Um, I did it. That's how I began, started with Canada Dream Creations. It became a dream, a dream became a reality. I saw lots of patients, lots of caregivers, patients that were afraid to talk to caregivers. And caregivers are afraid, afraid to go up to certain patients. But I would seem to be that, that gap in that bridge that, that was able to connect them together. So that's what I plan to continue with the future of Canada Dream Creations. I Soon, check out web domain, purchase all your gear on there. There'll be all kinds of apparel, some Chinese by Countess, a whole lot of trays and grinders. Thank you for watching. All right, I think we're going to head back to HQ. Come on. Right? Come on. Go. Boom. Bam. Boom. We're back Come here. On. We are already back. Are you afraid of the dark? Uh, kind of dark out. I'm afraid of the dark like when I'm walking in a place I don't know what I'm gonna step on yeah <laughs> that's about <laughs> it though that's, a, that's true I don't like bumping into stuff but yeah yeah like you could step on a massive like cow patty or something and then your foot's <laughs> just <laughs> oh god random cow patties in Boston you never know <laughs> well you know Boston you know with this epidemic going on you could step on some like PPE or some <laughs> some oh my god some needles or something Constantly you know seeing those oh. freaking masks everywhere oh my god it's crazy you will throw your shit away <laughs> but but what's the ne what's the what do you think the next crazy thing in the weed industry is going to be like it's got to be something right mm, you know is fuel, it fuel uh, hemp fuel hemp fuel yeah you want to be able to drive your car with yeah let's do it weed gas why not we guess. Why not? They can I do love it. that. <laughs> right? you, you'd have like the flux capacitor. <laughs> right? On, like, we can make it future. work. It could work. You know, we we are approaching Strength. 2020. Was wasn't it 2020 that Back to the Future went to? I think so. Yeah. Yeah, I think so. I, well, let's get let's get a fact check on that. Uh, <laughs> over to the desk. Yep. All right. We'll, we'll we'll come back with that answer. But it might even been earlier than that. Some crazy stuff that I've seen them put weed into lately has been nighttime romance stuff. Oh yes. You know, yep. like. Yep. You know, like sex stuff. You know, we're at that kind of hour right now where we're like, you know, tipping this. Are we doing the... mass can after dark? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I love this. This, this. this could be a thing. You know. Have you do... tried the lube? Oh yeah. Let me tell you, try the lube. Yeah. <laughs> like it's amazing. Yes, I brought the stuff. No back shame from in your game. You try that lube. Yeah, Colorado. It's like a spray lube, so yeah, you can there's... spray it on like basically anything. There's and some amazing it, things out there. Um, hemp rope for bondage. Oh, that's amazing. You gotta soften it first, though. Yeah, why? Well, it could cut <laughs> it gets, you up a little bit. Yeah, it's a little rough, but just soften it up. No, no, no problem. So what Use about hemp? Hemp oils right on that hemp rope. How about a hemp? <laughs> how about a hemp whip? Like, uh, ooh, now we're you talking. You got the bondage going. Now, yep, now you got yep. the whip going. And then you can just use some salve afterwards, put it on your skin, oh, yeah. some nice THC ones. Yeah. Heal those wounds. Heal those wounds. The yeah, that's wounds. right. It's like full <laughs> full circle. You know, mm -hmm. you cause the pain with it, then you rub the stuff on it, and then you're feeling all good. Yeah. Uh, I heard, uh, was it Whoopi Goldberg who came out with um, THC tampons? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah I'm pretty that's sure thing. I've heard of those. Too. That's the thing. There's so many women out there that suffer from yeah from endometriosis and everything. Yeah. I wonder if it hits that pain. There are some wild things I have oh, seen no. cannabis go into. Well, uh, quite, uh, I asked you this earlier. Would size matter? In those, yes. Absolutely. Size and mi <laughs> and mil milligram dosages. Yep. I would think so. Definitely need it. <laughs> yep, I would. I would think so. It's pretty absorbent in there. <laughs> pretty lucky as a guy, and I talk about it with my wife all the time that I, you know women have such power and I you know I think that's part of what the plant is and women's yeah. spirit and the plant They're itself okay. provides. females this. are the ones that bud right that's right <laughs> they look beautiful and sexy we only need you for your seeds yes. smell beautiful <laughs> yeah that's all right well, you kill most of the males in the in the cannabis world yeah the <laughs> pray this way that's okay I like it <laughs> yeah, yeah take it and move on with it but this has been like a real fun experience. Like I'm, I'm excited that we got to do this. Like yeah, it's an this honor. Yeah, this was a blast. This was you fun know? working with you. This Likewise. has been a great time. Likewise. Like, but nothing like, but laughs and good times. It's wonderful. Yeah, we're uh, we're we're definitely in an era right now where things are changing and adapting. And Mask Hands done a great job, like trying oh. to organize this whole thing, put all these people together. So yeah, this was amazing. Yeah, I was very well. With I this. was super impressed. You know, all a couple the panels. Of, oh my gosh, all of you guys did so well. I watched the entire thing. 
everybody spoke wonderfully. I loved watching all of them. They were yeah. great. Yeah, it was, Mark was it, hilarious. It was a great time. <laughs> <laughs> I still can't get over it. <laughs> oh, that's making it happen for sure. So there's, we have a whole new industry in in the state, right? So, mm-hmm. how do you are are you still growing and buying your own off the dispensary line, or have you been to a dispensary? And what dispensary do you like the best? I have not been to a dispensary. You I have not been to any dispensary in the whole entire state. I have a card, but I do not go to them. That's amazing. Yep. I got to visit just a couple. I've seen them. I've been near Cultivate and stuff like that. I just had no reason to go in. I grow my own. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Thanks, but no thanks. <laughs> yeah, no doubt, right? When you can grow it, um, mm-hmm. that's the best part about it. I grew it. I basically have my medical card so that I don't get harassed for growing. Right. So, and we have children. Yeah. So it's oh. kind of like another safety net. Totally. Just to have. Yeah, you need to you need to protect yourself. Mm-hmm. Bill Downing said it best. It's like, if if all else fails tomorrow on legality and everything, at least we're able to grow it at home. Mm-hmm. You know, and and that's what a lot of you know Mass Can has fought for is our rights on a recreational medical side of it to be able to do that and um you know thank you thank you yeah thank you you know so a- anybody out there that's helped push that forward you know we thank you from the bottom of our hearts because yes we wouldn't be here if it wasn't for you all those og activists all right so here we go we're going off to one of our sponsors awesome advanced sponsor, nutrients advanced nutrients check them out they grow bigger wonderful. better yes bigger and better buds size matters <laughs> nutrients Instagram giveaway but first we wanted to take a moment to focus on what our community members have been going through these past few weeks the fires happening right now in the United States have destroyed more acreage than ever before in history for those of you in Boston you may even be noticing hazier than usual skies as a result of these fires it's absolutely heartbreaking homes businesses and cannabis farms have been decimated and our deepest prayers are with all of those who are affected Farmers are at the heart of the cannabis industry, and in the age of a worldwide pandemic, they're essential. Without them, we wouldn't have an industry, which is why Humanity Heroes, started by our very own Big Mike, is setting up a fire relief fund to help support those going through this tragic time. Humanity Heroes will be donating $250,000 in monetary relief aid, as well as $250,000 in advanced nutrients products to licensed cannabis cultivators affected by these wildfires. If that's you, head to joinhumanityheroes.org slash apply to find out more about how to submit for aid. We're here for you. And while the fires rage, the show must go on. Fortunately, there are cannabis farms that have made it out unscathed, and the pressure to grow quality weed in mass quantities may be more intense now than ever before, which is why we are delighted to announce the winners of our Advanced Nutrients Giveaway. Are you ready? Our third place winner, Jedi Grow will be receiving an advanced nutrient starter kit chock full of all the baseline nutrients needed to start your home grow. Jedi, I use this kit, it's amazing. Our second place winner, Chatty Ankh, gets not only a starter kit, but some amazing advanced nutrient swag, a t-shirt and super dope backpack. And finally, our first place winner, who will be sending $1,000 in advanced nutrients products to is Anasazi Med. Congratulations! Can't wait to see your babies flourish with all these nutrients. To all of our winners, DM us on Instagram at Advanced Nutrients Official to claim your prize. Thank you so much for tuning in, friends. For more information on how you can get involved with Humanity Heroes, head to our website. And for more growing tips and news, follow us at Advanced Nutrients Official. Enjoy the rest of today's Boston Freedom Rally. I'm Brooke Bergstaller, and I love you. All right, well, hey. Congratulations to the winners of Congratulations. the Congratulations. Advanced Nutrients. Dude, they were giving away, giving away. a, a lot of giving, stuff. Yeah, that was great. That was awesome. They had first place, second place, and third place winners. Third place. Make sure you guys contact Advanced Nutrients for your prizes. Yeah, you must contact them for your yes. prizes. On Instagram. On Instagram. You contact us, we're going to tell you to contact them. So just cut us middlemen out of it. And just, and just go do straight, the thing. straight to the <laughs> Get plug. Get your prize. Go right to the plug. Get what you really need. You know what I mean? So, no taking need that. No little man. No need. No need. Have oh, you ever... My goodness. Have you, have you won a good giveaway for many of these things? 
I have not. I've no. Given to them. Me too. But I don't yeah. haven't won one. Lots of t-shirts, lots of hats, mm -hmm. lots of just giving stuff away. Yep, I've donated from edibles to bongs, pieces, and crazy stuff, art, books, books. I'm always doing these books and giveaways too. What do you got over there? This is Anime Meets book. She signed them for me so I can do them in my giveaways. Oh, sweet. She is awesome. She went to a cannabis school and then took all that information and made it shrunk into this beautiful book for us to learn instead of spending, you know, 15 grand on a school. <laughs> right. She's like, here, here's a $10 book with this is all what I the learned. information you need. She really did. She broke it down. So it's literally basic 101 cannabis. It's a really good book to have. I can even take this one if you don't have one. I have a bunch. Yeah, nice. And she signs them, which is great. Well, these ones she signed. Nice. Thank you, Anna. That's like, uh, what was that series of books called? Like, The Idiot's Guide to, like, X, Y, and Z? Oh, yeah, like, for dummies or whatever. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, <laughs> yeah this is, it's Cannabis Book for Dummies. It's basically A, Y, Z for it. Done. Mm -hmm. Done. It's like an education in a, in a bathroom read, right? Yeah, it's nice. Get it all done nice and quick. It explains like simple basic terms that you wouldn't even know. Explains what the endocannabinoid system is, where the parts are. Explains like where it hits and what you should probably have for what like yeah. uh, you know just different things. Yeah. What targets what? That's nice such a graphs. that's such a good piece like of the educational puzzle mm -hmm. because a lot of prohibition and a lot of what we've been fighting for is all about anti education. Yes propaganda like filling your head with bad things Ugh. because you don't understand all the good things that are happening that it's just a cross of information and some people are so you know hard-headed that they don't want to see it education is key there it's the only thing we can continue to do it's just bringing forth the truthful education about it yeah. and hopefully you know with time we need to have every, <laughs> everyone has to sit down with Catherine Rifkin for like you know a couple oh, hours my goodness, the she will just bring you up to speed right woman. away. We need to like create a data chip of her head and then Someone implant it into everybody. To yeah. sit there and record everything that she went through. through that would the be entire amazing. Industry, that not even industry, because it was nothing back when she started. A lot of them, a lot of the OG activists. Yeah. Who they were facing jail time doing what they were doing. <laughs> oh, totally. <laughs> not what I was dealing yeah. with. <laughs> Talk about putting it right in the face of mm -hmm. like, you know. Like, I remember it was illegal, and I was caught a few times, and never nothing ever happened. But then decriminalization came, and I wasn't even worried about it. Right. Like, it, the fear went out the window. Right. Yeah, that's crazy. Cool. Well, Bill Downing had uh, one of the freedom rallies. He had a pig nose wrapped around his head <laughs> in the thing we were doing there, and it was just, like, complete smoking weed right in front of the cops' faces, and you know they didn't like it. But they but didn't. It, yeah, they couldn't do anything. Mm -hmm. Either that or it was like, and, and that was such a different mindset back then. Yeah. To come all the way to where we are now, everything has changed so much. You know, the cops just kind of laugh when they see you smoking weed. They're like, oh, those dopers, they're just getting silly, you know? <laughs> they take the free samples. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> totally. It. <laughs> totally. It's great. Yeah. I love it now. Yeah, I miss, the, uh, I miss those days of just, you know, being able to you know, give away free stuff like you could mm -hmm. all the time. Oh, I loved it. Well, last year at Mascan event, the... Uh, for the Freedom Rally. They were tossing stuff right off the stage for everybody in the right. audience. Joints yeah, yeah, yeah. and little baggies of weed. It was great. <laughs> I was like, wow, this is this is totally cool. My buddy Keith went home and he got a, a, a big plant and he brought it all the way down there and he started ripping branches off and they were literally <laughs> throwing them in the crowd. Yep, I remember that actually. It was a good one last year. So, this year is definitely a different first of all of its kind. So oh, yeah. that's neat. Yeah, we're on a, we're on a different playing field here, mm -hmm. but this is... This is a new virtual cinema for us to do what we want to do and give back and, and talk to the people in the cannabis community, uh, do it in a safe environment. Um, I hope everybody had an educational day. A lot, again, the pan all the panels brought such great information forward. Yeah, the panels were Every great. Every year. They were great. And it, was, and it, it just was, gets better and better. It was good to hear all the, all the positivity around the community. You know, we, um, uh, we, got, uh, we got our DJ coming up. Oh yes, what's his name? Yeah, uh, uh, DJ Slim Puff Pass. DJ he's, Slim Puff Pass. He is the headliner. Uh, let me let me get over to the studio. How long until we got uh, DJ Slim ready to go? Seven thirty-five. Seven thirty-five. All right, man, we got plenty of time. <laughs> so holy smokes! All right. 
Okay, so, so tomorrow on Mask and social media, you should check it out there if you miss where they call the winners this afternoon. So no, the winners will be announced. Oh, the winners will be announced tomorrow. Well, I thought you already. Okay, <laughs> winners will be announced tomorrow at the Mask and site for the giveaways that have not been done. for the giveaways that have not already been done. <laughs> like I guess only the advanced nutrients one. So anybody who won that one, contact advanced nutrients. If you're still waiting for a prize to win, go to the MassCan website tomorrow afternoon and you will be able to find out the winners then. MassCan social media. The MassCan social media. So MassCan social media, we gave away Beantown Greentown hat, hoodie, t-shirt. Go there, find out who's winning that. Advanced Nutrients, you go to their site. I almost wish that I was actually a spectator here so that I could, I would have I would have tried to win. Right? I, I was like, oh, I'm missing out all on these good giveaways. They're like, awesome. I like, loved it. that sweatshirt. That was a good sweatshirt. I'm going to buy one. Oh. Well, <laughs> I want it. one. <laughs> Maybe we'll have to dig into the pile see if we got an extra for you. I love this Smokey hey. the Bear. Toki the Bear. <laughs> Toki. So, awesome. funny story is last year when we were doing all of the stuff at the Freedom Rally, um, the whole staff and crew that worked there would come by and they wanted the Toki stuff because it fit their image of the park yeah. and the whole ranger deal and they were they were taking care of business that way. I see Meredith has like the Smokey the Bear up in New Hampshire. So oh, I yeah. see him go by all the time on the highway. I'm like, oh one of my favorite things think of the sticker. <laughs> one of my favorite things about that is Smokey's always there to tell you what the fire danger is at the time. Yeah. So um, they go through different stages, right? Where if it's really rainy, it's like a moderate, very low. Mm -hmm. But when they start to get to high and like very high, you see all the stoners <laughs> over there taking pictures of smoke. You'd be like, I am so stoned right now. And I think it's true, though. It's so true. I think that's where our love for Smokey came Smokey from. Smokey the bear, yeah. And it was. Uh, to prevent forest fires. Hey. And... Toki the bear burns trees. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> he, he does. He burns his own trees. Yes. That's why A our Toki kind. Bear is the crazy brother of the other one. Mm -hmm. So you got to keep it, uh, keep them separated. You know what I mean? Yeah. You, don't, you don't need to infringe on any federal trademarks or anything like that. Nah, we don't <laughs> need to get sued. <laughs> <laughs> it nobody, happens. Nobody it wants happens. to go there. No one wants that. But uh, this has been, you know, the Boston Freedom Rally, um, virtual. And uh, we're presented by all of our great Brothers sponsors. Brothers Grimm Seeds. Brothers Grimm. Cinderella 99. Massachusetts Local Boy. Mm -hmm. Rick Campanella. Um, we also have Advanced Nutrients. Yep. Our set, our sister set across the way. <laughs> the Summit. The Summit Lounge. I love the Summit Lounge. It was always fun to go out there and hang out with Kyle and the crew. And yep. you know they've had some good times out there. They do bingo there. I love bingo. Oh yeah, I heard about that this. Was, I've never that been. Was fun. Oh, you're missing out. It's oh, a blast. Man. It's fun. I'd go if they had square dancing. <gasps> All right, square dancing something that. Completely not around here. I love square dancing though. <laughs> it's a blast. I, I just threw that out there. You I have no idea it. how to do it. Do it now. You have to. <laughs> I will. I will. Now you're gonna launch a party. I will. I'm gonna. I'm gonna throw Get a party. Get him on the book style. I'm actually throwing a party on 1010. You're welcome to come. I am going to. Yeah, we're gonna be racing old uh, rally cars I around New Hampshire. Love old cars. That's awesome. Yeah. Well, you know, uh, uh, that'll be a fun time. But um, you know, uh, DJ Slim Puff Pass. He's played many of the uh, Boston Freedom Rallies. Uh, he's a performer there, and um, you know this is a new kind of thing for him. Um, so I'm sure some, he will some do point, wonderful some, on live. Yeah, at some point we'll get him to come on. Oh, that's coming in just a few minutes there. Yep, from the director. <laughs> so that's cool. <laughs> um, well, let's talk about this. I, I've been thinking about this all day. What is your favorite activity to do while you're high? Read like a book. Cleaning. Cleaning? I will go to my friend's house and clean their house for them. Ah, I'll be yes. like, let me just smoke some weed and let me clean your house for you. <laughs> like, I'm so sick of my own. <laughs> so if you're out there and you're watching, what is your favorite activity to do while you're high? You know, um, I'm one of these people. Yours, that, yeah. I, I like to work. Like, whatever yeah. it is, I, I build things. So, like, my creativity comes out of me and, and my energy to get Same. projects done. So, you know, I don't Same, care. Last night I got stoned and was like, I have nothing to wear. Let me make a shirt. <laughs> perfect. So, and that is a really cool I, shirt. Right. I'm like, I think it came out all right. That is epic. <laughs> right. Beautiful. All right. We're uh, auctioning off the shirt. It starts <laughs> at 100 bucks. If you're interested in buying it, just put in your money in. Uh, I don't come attached. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, no. Uh, uh, the female underneath is not attached with it. Uh, we do not recommend shipping either. <laughs> 
you must pick this shirt up on your own, and uh, we can take it from there. 90 seconds. 90 seconds. But, uh, but everybody has, you know, interesting things that they like to do, mm-hmm. you know, when high, you know, like, and a lot of people, you know, sit back and watch TV. Video games, like virtual, we're in that virtual world. I love gaming. Oh, yeah, when you get high, gaming is awesome. I love it. For PC, mostly, right now. I used to be a lot of, you know, on consoles. Have you ever been to Disney Quest? Yes. (laughs) That is one of the most amazing places in the whole entire planet Mm -hmm. for getting high and going and playing video games. You dive into these virtual worlds and, like, all these virtual games. Oh, my God. There's, highly recommended. Highly recommended. I play Avicii a lot. His game is amazing. Get stoned, oh. listen to his music, and just like hit the, <laughs> hit all the correct bubbles. <laughs> it's fantastic. All right. Oh, yes, let's intro. So here we go. Awesome DJ. Drum roll, please. The music headliner you are about to see is an award-winning marijuana music artist. He has performed at countless Boston Freedom rallies, and the performance you are about to see was recorded by Mr. DL. Please follow DJ Slim on Instagram at DJ Slim Puff Pass. Now it's time to light it up and enjoy this performance. Mic, mics are hot. Yeah. Thank y'all for checking us out. At the virtual Boston Freedom Rally, my name is DJ Slim. Get high, everybody. Yeah. I smoke weed with award winning growers from the east to the west coast. Everybody knows me. I'm the one they call America's most weeded. If it's not stinky bomb weed, please don't put it near me. I have allergies when I'm too close to swag weed. Make me break out in hives, then I got the itch and sneeze. So I need quick relief. Break out a whole zip of Hawaiian snow from greenhouse seeds. See, I'm a connoisseur of the weed. First I squeeze it and sniff it. Don't rush to grind it and hit it. Break out my trike mic, then I inspect a nugget. Look at them trichomes and pretty hair. Mm, love it. Now it's time to get to puffin'. King size, pure hemp rolling sheets. I think I do a baker's dozen. 12 in my pop pocket, one in my mouth Grab my lighter out and blaze it on up If you smoke a weed like I smoke a weed Put your motherfucking hands in the air If your weed smells like a skunk, let them know what's up Put your motherfucking hands in the air If you smoking on good genetics, never let them forget it Put your motherfucking hands in the air If you smoke weed like me, America's most weeded Put your motherfucking hands in the air I walk the street with my signature series cane Never know when you bump into a pothead with a new strain A smoker like myself is always ready To take a puff of good pip or some good headies Ain't lighters at all times, I'm always ready Seem like lighter thieves, though they always out to get me It could be my stoner chick or my best friend But they always hit get my fucking lighter in the end Don't dress to impress, pride myself on smell Won't see me and me, but I know it's cologne I blaze the L, then I walk through the smoke Mary Jane is the only scent that I have on I'm that dude in the center row of the movies Smoking weed, drinking Arizona iced tea Eating a box of Chinese You can go and tell the ushers if you want Only thing they're gonna come and do is ask me for a puff If you smoke a weed like I smoke a weed Put your motherfucking hands in the air If your weed smells like a skunk, let them know what's up Put your motherfucking hands in the air If you smoking on good genetics, never let them forget it Put your motherfucking hands in the air If you smoke weed like me, America's most weeded Put your motherfucking hands in the air yeah. Come on, y'all, let's utilize our high out there. DJ Slim for the past, baby. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Utilize your high. I utilize my high from the moment that the sun comes up That's usually the time I take my first puff Then I get up to face the world highs and lows Cause you never know how it's gonna go Off to get the dough Cause I got a fam to provide for So I work 9 to 5 plus 10 more I own my own company So it's off to the studio To make sure my music sounds beautiful 50% of the time stand away from phony MCs That claim that they run in the street Must be cause you ain't running the beat See me in South Beach smoking weed on a sand Sandy Beach. I utilize my high every day of the week. Market promotion and sales all done by me. Keeping my puff path a living entity. I want to bring a plaque back to the bean like that OG. Utilize your high. Utilize your high. Utilize your high. Don't just 
just waste your high If you smoking on that ganja fam Don't just sit around, get up, get out and get something Utilize it y'all, utilize your high Utilize your high, don't just waste your high If you smoking on that ganja fam Don't just sit around, get up, get out and get something Mr. DL Yeah, Mr. DL The Grim Reefer It's Tony Montana David Hasselhoff Stone and O'Brien Weekend Warriors on Amazon Prime right now Medical Edibles DJ Slam, what up man? Smoke on my weed How we do? Yo, let me roll the dank Break the bank Drink till we fall Frank the tank Hang go one like I'm Dane the Dane Real since birth and I stay the same Drink alone when I'm on the road Couple O's, grape juice Patron Purple clones, purple bones Hundred hits of this herb of stone Word of gone, flip the glass Hit the dab or the wax of hash I'm about to crash, gotta turn it up Joint keep going down when I burn it up She keep going down when I burn it up She keep going down cause I earn the bucks I'm a hustler, hundred buds Hundred nugs, hundred slugs Yeah, it's the DL Shout out to Chef Tanya Nicole, Indo Joe No matter films, the Weekend Warriors on Amazon Prime right now Medical Edible, check us out on YouTube Shout out to DJ Slim, Red Blazer, what up? Everybody know about me, man, I smoke good Only the stickiest shit because I smoke good They fly the shit to me, overseas I smoke good Y'all can hate on me, all you want, man, but I smoke good Puff past records, man, you know we smoke good Yeah, yeah, America's most sweeted, you know we smoke good DJ Slim, I yeah. believe I always smoke good 24-7, uh-huh. man, I'm always on that smoke good From the moment that the grower puts the seed in the dirt That weed is destined to get the DJ Slim first they know about me, my music's worldwide They respect my help for the fight for getting it legalized So they bring the cannabis cup to me See my reviews final, I produce when it's like American Idol Before they trim it, compress it down to ship it I charter on my flight to land in the yard where I'm living Cause the one that grows is the one that brings it See a small time, small dime, can't relate to what I'm saying You still think sour diesel is the latest train Why I'm smoking something so new it doesn't have a name. When I want fresh breath, I smoke bubble gum weed. My daily food intake, I smoke strawberry haze. You might call me a health nut. I'm always smoking mixed talents with so many strains inside. I believe in fly like R. Uh, Kelly. Come on, everybody know about me, man. I smoke good. Only the stickiest shit because I smoke good. They fly the shit to me overseas. I smoke good. Y'all can hate on me all you want, man, but I smoke good. Puff past records, man. You know yeah, we yeah, smoke yeah, good. Yeah. America's most weeded. You know. We smoke good DJ Slim Best believe I always smoke good 24-7 man I'm always on that smoke good For all my ladies out there Mm -hmm. Yeah Sticky Sticky. Where my ladies at? You remind me of my weed You look so exotic You remind me of my weed I wanna roll You remind me of my weed I'd love to hear it, you yeah. remind me hey. of my hey. weed uh-huh. You smell so exquisite, you remind me Girl, I don't wanna give you melanoma But I love to put the spotlights on ya 400 watts or better Cause you always look so good when we're together I just wanna put my lips on you From my nose across your neck, just sniff on you Your essence lingers in my nose for weeks Think about you so much at night I can't sleep You remind me of a pound, so potent I know people that would pay money to hold you So thick, voluptuous, so fluffy You remind me of a raw cone, I call them stuffy Every angle I look at you, so lovely All I know is you the best for me You're good for my mind, so and body Even your fingernails look like sugar leaves Come on, hey ladies you look so exotic. Yeah, yeah. You remind me of my weed. I wanna, I wanna roll, roll, baby. You remind me yeah. of my weed. I love to hit it. You yeah. remind me yeah. of my weed. You smell so exquisite. You remind me. Oh, it's that time, y'all. Everybody, pull out your bong. Let's have a bong party up in here. Blaze it up. Hey, 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 Ding dong, no 
what time it is Open up the door by the million friends All y'all put y'all hands in the air Y'all ready to get high out here? High as giraffe ass that is Everybody scream back hell yeah One guy to six stone the chicks Won't be no sausage fest up in here Three days of partying up Smoking good weed and shaking your butt A party like this that I want you to forget We thought free, come in and get lit Cotton candy or gorilla glue Number four Is this the few smells you smell when you step up through the door? Sexy stone the chicks Showing off they custom bong And from they look in their eyes They left their man at home Cause they here to party while I find a good time And find a strain of weed to definitely blow their mind The whole weekend's catered And the drinks are for free And as long as you bring your bong That's your remission fee That's how it pops off for the DJ Slim Bong Party And raise your bong in the air and smoke with me Everybody, come on, yeah, yeah Everybody come Open up the door by the million friends All y'all put y'all hands in the air Y'all ready to get high out here? High as giraffe ass that is Everybody scream back hell yeah What the hell y'all waiting for? Past these doors nothing but free weed in here They're related to clean your bong Dry and shine and make it look pretty Pack it full of stanky nuggets So you can get back to hitting We fill mason jars as far as the eye can see As far as bong parties Nobody does it better than me I seen bongs with gold and silver Dipped around the mouthpiece My 25 and older peeps they call that shit classy When you show off your bong You best to do it the best Cause every bong is entered into the bong of the year contest Depending on how it hits height And over all appearance I might autograph your bong As this year's winner And that will give you perks and gifts unimaginable People thought a bong party like this was unfathomable Come on Everybody yeah. come Come on, on y'all Pull out your bong and blaze it up It's a bong party, so come on through. Yeah, raise your bong up in the air with me, y'all. Yeah, yeah. It's a bong party. Bring your own bong and your Buddha too. It's a bong party, so come on through. Yeah. I wanna get high. Is through. I like to mix my weed with hash and commence to rolling all that shit up and some smoke clear raps. Go to the studio, bang out a dozen rhymes. That's what I like to call utilizing my high. People want to get me high because they like my music. If the weed's bomb, cool. If it's not, keep it moving. I want to get high the smoke's coming out my ears. I want to get high like Chi Chi Chong or Britney Spears. You know she was stone dancing on stage with. Must have got a whole of K-Fed, six of stems. Bullshit weed like that will end your career. That's why DJ Slim only puffs on the bomb. It's weed. Come on. Yeah. 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 Blaze it up, y'all. Blaze it up.
drink anything I wanna get high cause I put this here for, for me, me and you. you I wanna get high why because I'm loyal to my boo Mary Jane's been here so much for me That's why I couldn't go a day without blazing some trees I fly to Amsterdam in November for Cannabis Cup Come back to Boston on the red eye in time for work People think I'm joking about this No lie, just like Afro Man song said I love to get high For Trump's last day in office I got a shipment of some good weed to get the celebration popping A lot of people don't think I'm high constantly Cause my eyes aren't red, I tell them that's by Z You could call me Mr. Get High or Mr. Token Lot Cause I'm usually never seen without weed in my mouth Come on! Thank you, motherfucking everybody. Hello, everybody. My name is Lori Lucien. I am an attorney based out in Boston, a marijuana attorney. I am also a professor. But most importantly, and I think um, this is why I've been asked to speak tonight, I have spent the last eight years studying eight different martial arts, including, di uh, including various um, disciplines and philosophies which has given me an understanding um, about how life works, both on a spiritual perspective and on a physical perspective. And I was asked to talk to you guys about the spirituality of cannabis. And I only have five minutes and I told you guys that I've been studying for eight years. So let me give you, I'm gonna break down as much as I can in five minutes. Y'all ready? Let's go. So you guys understand that there is something called yin and yang. Yin and yang energy represents male and masculine energy. Do not let these terms gets you distracted with gender. It has nothing to do with gender. It just has to do with the way that these, these energies have been labeled. So yin is feminine energy. Feminine energy is what? It's receptive, right? It takes things in, it's healing, it's nurturing, it's self-love. Yang is action, doing, doing, doing. So when you're in your yin, you're in the being. When you're in your yang, yeah, when you're in the yang, you are in the doing action. Your following has nothing to do with gender, y'all, so don't get it twisted. So the marijuana plant falls into what category do you think? And at this point, you guys are like, Lori, can't nobody respond to you? Respond for yourself. I'll do that. It, it falls into the feminine energy. It is the yin energy. And honestly, I'm not going to take you too far side sidetrack, but you guys understand that we are in a time where the divine feminine is rising. And I think it's no coincidence that marijuana is finding its space in our lives at this moment in this time space reality. So now we say it's a yin energy, feminine energy. It's receptive. How do you use this energy in your life in order to, in order for you to ensure that you can have success? Well, we know that it's feminine energy. In order for you to be able to manifest anything in your life, you guys. Anything instead, uh, any type of success, you have to have that feminine energy balance. You have to have self love. You have to have complete self acceptance. And with self acceptance, self value, you will have the confidence and the mindset necessary to take the actions that you need to take in order to, su to succeed in life. So, what this plant can do, it can allow you, if you program it as such, because one thing I'm going to, I'm going to get into one more thing is. You guys are going to go this. I'm going to go into metaphysics real quick. We, as in this entire universe, is made up of what? Proton, of, of, elect, of atoms. Atoms are made up of electrons, neutrons, and atoms. And you guys are like saying, Lori, you're saying too much. But what I'm trying to get you to the point of saying is every atom has electrons. All electrons in the entire universe are entangled. What that means, that is a, metaph that is a quantum physical term. That means that what happens to one electron no matter how far away can be experienced by, an, by, by another electron that's not even close to it. Your body's made up of electrons. All electrons in the entire universe are entangled. That's why, the, that's the concept of oneness. All electrons are entangled. What happens to me happens to you. It doesn't matter if you're consciously aware of it. So the ca cannabis plant will help you to start tapping into your consciousness, which is a feminine energy, so that you can become more aware in this time space, so that you can begin to take, to start removing some of the traumas that might have been in place in your life that you were not conscious of, so you can now move forward into your life. Are y'all following? 
We're all made up of electrons. All the electrons are entangled. And, and, and your subconscious is a feminine energy. If you want to tap into your subconscious, because most of your actions are rooted in the subconscious, you can use the cannabis plant, which is a feminine energy. And because its electrons are entangled with yours, if you think and you intend for it to do a particular thing, you're going to cause those electrons to vibrate at the frequency of the thought that you put out, that intention, and it's going to manifest into your reality. So when I, whenever I smoke, I take the plant and I infuse it with tremendous gratitude. I'm grateful for you. And then whatever I need to work on, if I need to be more loving, more respectful, more chill, whatever it is that is feminine, I program it and then I infuse it so that I can take in that energy. And then I can transmit the love and the acceptance and the value to others as well. And that's how I would recommend that you use the cannabis plant to tap into the spirit, to the feminine energy. So you too can tap into self-love so that you too can manifest all the abundance that you need and desire in this lifetime. I have a podcast called The Legally Great Podcast. If you're interested in learning more about the spiritual aspect of cannabis, spiritual aspect of life, quantum mechanics, quantum physics, um, it's all on the podcast. Um, and, uh, and I am legally great on all my platforms. That is legally great. I think that's my time. I hope that you guys learned something. It was quick. It was dirty. But I hope that you're inspired to know that you can control, you have the capacity to influence everything in the universe because you're entangled it works the other way around good night good night oh wow big mama Lori. big mama awesome what up that's Absolutely great. awesome and we did follow you along <laughs> yeah she's got a great spirit <laughs> mm -hmm. and we can follow right along with that absolutely I wow was, i jumped into a social equity class and she had some speeches that were just with the, oh yeah uh, just so much knowledge so much information i uh, like her whole yeah she's got a good aura and a good, good vibe. aura yeah that, energy is on point for it well that's a good vibe segue mm -hmm. this whole day has been about good vibes absolutely the Keep, best vibes the best vibes <laughs> <laughs> so, man it has been one long day though it, it is. is the final wrap up like it is it's the end. Yep, this is the it's end. A bittersweet end now. <laughs> <laughs> we would love to thank all the sponsors again. Um, Brothers Grim Seeds, fabulous. Thank you so much for the helping put this on. Thank you to Advanced Nutrients for providing such great prizes, such great products, uh, so that we can yeah. grow bigger and better, get more oil out of our grows. Yes, that's that is key. Yep. <laughs> Yeah. Baby all boy. of the production staff everybody oh production's been unbelievable uh, today yeah. so many like hiccups and things to jump over grant smith grant thank smith. you so much for everything you do and everything you do for mascan and for everybody in the community you are a fabulous fabulous person shout out to baby boy and max out in worcester awesome. bobby nugs came on yep Helping yep. us live in the studio. Working on the headquarters over the summit, too. Oh, yeah. <laughs> they were doing all that the earlier. Headquarters. Him and Max. Keeping it COVID safe, as you notice, that we're yes. trying to keep it everything as safe as can be. Thanks to all the panelists. Thanks for your time today. It's not, it's hard to just find that moment out of time to be able to put aside for this. So thank you. Yeah. It's Thanks great. to the musical guests. We had all great musical guests. Education. Yep. That's what it's about. The plant spirit bringing all these different energies and all these different stuff together. I loved the music. The music was great. Yeah. That was a really, it was really well Sets done. Sets the mood back into a happy zone. Yep. Everybody gets to smoke and just listen to vibes. It's great. I yep. love it. So if you've been with us this whole time. Thank uh, you. Thank you. <laughs> yes. Thank you. Uh, start typing in the comments like how many how many times you had let to go to get munchies. Let us know what your favorite scene was. Too. Yeah. Let us I'm know. I'm so curious. Let us know. You loved it. You know, just give us feedback you want us to do it again you know we could probably do it next week if we wanted to <laughs> you know freedom rally every week like get keep it going but uh you know this has been a this has been a, a huge team effort and mm -hmm. you know i think that really needs some some credit it truly does you know? it it came off with, it pulled yeah. off wonderful when like, you when honestly. you get when you get thousands and thousands of people to go to one place but then to get them to not go to that one place and tune in online it's pretty special yeah Definitely. So you know you're able to reach a lot of people and tell that good message, and mm -hmm. um, you know I don't think uh, I don't think I could have done it without you. 
Same here. Yeah, this I, was a great experience. This would have been kind of boring by myself. Yeah, same. Like, I wouldn't hey, have been hey. able to um, on the spot do this. <laughs> yeah, no it's, doubt. It's been fun. But uh, let's shout out Baby Boy's Can of Creations. Can of Dream Creations. Can of Dream Creations. His, yep. his little job. Uh, sorry, new business there. Uh, and Summit Lounge was our other sponsor as well. Mm -hmm. So, And then you know, Northeast Leaf. As a well. Northeast Leaf, yeah. So this is a new magazine that's going to be coming out. Subscribe Everybody's going to have the chance. Follow them, check them out. They're awesome. Danny Danko is obviously a legend. Danny so. Danko, I I want a cut of that strawberry cough. <laughs> if you're out there watching, you know that's what I'm looking for one. So someday, <laughs> please. Yeah. Thank you to all of the directors of Mascan. Every single one of you giving your time and effort into this whole organization is. Is priceless. Yeah, they Thank give you. a lot, and nobody under, understands this. Like nobody gets paid yeah, to do is. any of this stuff. This is volunteer work. Volunteer this is a work. lot too. We believe lots it for of emails, day. emails to get <laughs> like, going. Like it's, oh. it's intense. The yeah. amount of emails just for this was overwhelming. So <laughs> I can only imagine what it's like on a day to day basis in that group. <laughs> yeah, and 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 everybody just does it for the love of the plant. Yeah, one and love. One love. One love. And the spirit. Of keeping Spirit cannabis of going. I just can't wait to go home and smoke. <laughs> I can't wait to go smoke. Myself. This has been such yeah. a great day, but I need to get high. The edibles only do it so much, you know. You want yeah. that flavor. They were and... awful a while ago. <laughs> so, as much as we love all of you and doing what we're doing, we are ready to go enjoy ourselves. Um, have a safe, happy holiday. Yeah, have a you know, stay safe. Wash those hands. From everyone at stay yeah. lit from yeah. everyone at Mask Hand. Stay classy, Boston! Stay classy, Boston! Woo!